A uh, quick update on the plants. Uh, it appears that I have found the limit to how big these will grow without any extra nutrients. And uh, the answer is about that big. As you can see, the leaves are starting to get brown around the edges. And I don't know if these first leaves that sprout are meant to die off or not, but that seems to be what they're doing. Um, I have added some 13-13-13 fertilizer. I don't know if that's right, but it's what I had on hand. I don't know if it's going to let's peek under the skirt. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to dissolve in the water, but yeah, that's where we are. And also, on the healing bench, we've got these lights under test. These are two LED uh, you know, fog lamps, whatever you want to call them. These were given to me by a guy that I race with. Um, supposedly, one of these two will randomly start strobing. So that's a pretty common issue with these LED lamps and it's probably the voltage regulator or something some part of that circuitry i am going to make the prediction right now that it is going to be this one that has the problem because it is running noticeably warmer than the one on the left so aside from that i have some bad news and unfortunately, that bad news is with the rally car. You see, I was uh, at the last event out doing a test and tune, and I hit something pretty hard. In fact, it launched the car straight up in the air. When I came down, it did a lot of damage. You can see it in the form of gaps all over the place. In fact, you can see a gap in the hood through the gap in the hood, a uh, gap along the fender here, all the way up to the door, uh, it bent the fender when I opened the door, and that's because that fender is pushed up. But the forebearer of bad news is uh, right up here where you can see a gap between the A-pillar and the door itself. That gap is big enough to stick my finger through. And uh, if we walk around to the other side of the car here, you'll be able to see that that gap is basically non-existent. Now, that means that when I landed, I bent the chassis. And uh, if I'm ever going to want to drive in a straight line again, I'm going to have to find another chassis to do it in. In fact, it's so bent that I measured the distance between the front and rear wheels on each side. And this side is two inches shorter than the other.